Hi guys and welcome back to another resin video. So I am very excited in today's video I'm going to be testing out these alcohol inks from, well there's no use showing you them, you can't see them, Let's Resin. Why? I don't know why I've even got that in. Um, and I'm going to be trying them on this. I know this is a bit marked. <laughs> My mum had this and I've no idea what she's put on it. I've tried sanitizer on it, I've tried 100% alcohol, I've put it in with my washing dishes with warm water and soap, nothing will get this off. So mum says it won't interfere with what I'm doing so I'm just going to leave it. Obviously this is a shell that goes like that, all I have to do if I wanted it as a shell shell to put stuff in is just get a clasp thing that holds on there that holds a lid up like that. Now for this part of the, uh, this watch to the video, I am following a tutorial from Daniel Cooper, he's on YouTube and um, he did a really good explanation of how to use these alcohol inks in the project I want to do. So the first thing I am going to do is clean up these moulds with a baby wipe and then I'm going to get some water because I need to know what volume these are for how much resin I've got up or in because you don't want to uh, waste your resin this thing just doesn't want to come up oh my alright just another tip where I've learned along the way I've got some sellotape I've got, some, I've got that on my finger because I've been pecking I know I shouldn't have nobody wants to see a raw finger on here but yeah, definitely get sellotape and get all the, the little tiny bits that will not come out of your mould. Alright, this is the next day and I had a nicky moment yesterday. So, you know when I said I was filling them with water to get, to get, in, get the volume? Well, I thought, how, how is that going to be a jewellery box? How can this? Because it's going to be full and I'm like... Oh Nick, it's that way. Oh my god. So that's another Nicky moment. So obviously I cannot do what I wanted to do. I'm not good enough yet to do what I want to do with these these inks on the bottom, but I can on the top. Right, so the picture I want from from Daniel Cooper's uh, one of his videos is that one. It is beautiful and it comes out stunning. So I've got these colours out of Let's Resin because this is what I used was Let's Resin's uh, stuff. So them are the colours I'm going to go for. So in here I'm thinking of putting a load of glitter in because like why not? I'm thinking of glitter and summit flake like gold flake, red flake, something like that. So I can put these away now because I've got all the inks I want. I also want to do these coasters the same way because I think the coasters will look so cool and I'm really excited to do this process. So I need some, some glitter. So I'll keep this on the floor with me all the time now. This is just my glitter drawer. Um, I, most of these are from Phoenix Glitter. So, oops, that was my phone. So what do we want? I don't want anything like too obnoxious I want it nice and oh that's nice so if I do that with 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 see that like this is going to stick together a little bit because it's that kind of thing I want something that's going to be loose like I used to be when I was younger <laughs> sorry mother <laughs> oh my lord I don't believe I just said that oh they might go they, they look as delicate as them, don't they? They shine different colours as well. Alright, changed my mind on the colours. This pink powder is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use that. You know what I do with my jars? I put the solid powder at the bottom and then I put glitter on top. So I'm going to use this at Glamour Dust. I'm going to use this Spritzer by Sparkle Supplies UK. And these Unicorn Flakes from Twinkle Claws and then I'm going to put that on top. Yeah, right. So, I'm going to mix the resin now. Even these gloves are too big and these are medium. Good Lord. So, I am going to start with the bottom. Please, I'm really tough. I know it is, isn't it? It's really coming down. How are you doing? All right, I just that had to... It smells nice, what's that? Me. Oh. I'll just put some spray on. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm down. laughs> Bless you. What's your excitement? I know, right, sorry. So sorry. Right, now I'm going to get one of Let's Resin stirrers and stir the crap out of this. See how it goes when it's blending in together. It's got like that, this like a bit of a film. That is, that looks so weird. Oh wow, look at that. So you have to stir it nice and slow to get rid of that. And then I let it stand for about five minutes to get all the bigger bubbles out. And then I can start. All right, so I'm going to put two ounces in here for the top. So in here, I've changed my mind again. <laughs> So I found this Princess Baby Pink from Smiley's But for now I'm going to get this pink and a little spoon This is also from Let's Resin And then I'm just going to put three heaped spoonfuls in here Sometimes I don't understand what happens. I measured this with water. I wonder if it's because this is thicker than water. It must be. Because from my calculations, I still had that to pour in. I don't know. Anyway, that's full now. I've nearly used all of that. That's not too bad. So I'll, I'll just give it a little jiggle jiggle so to make sure that all the bubbles are out. And make sure it's totally full. So I'm going to put this to one side and then I'm going to work on the lid. Alright, so we're on to the lid. I'm just going to get this resin and just pour it in. And I'm, I'm hoping I've got enough. I'm just going to do it, um, fill it up after if not. So I'm literally nowhere near the top of this. So I'm going to have to make some more, which I didn't want to do, but what can you do? Alright, so I'm going to mix all these up. This one is orange and yellow, blue and green and magenta. So I'm going to put them in the same order that he did. I'm going to start off with the blue. Oh, this is exciting. I'm going to put a blob. Oh no, they're all... Ah! No. Okay, so I haven't used them before, so this is where these come in. Because you need, need to pierce the tops. Of course you do. 3,000 years later. All right, I've done him. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> so I'm gonna put two blobs there of the blue. So now is the sinker white. This is what makes all the colours look amazing. So I'm just going to cover all of this in white now. Oh, I've got to poke it. Ah, 
Oh, look at that! Oh my god, okay. Cool. Smoke weed every day. So now I've got to set timer for one hour. One hour starting now. One hour later. So I've got a toothpick, and what I'm going to do is just go around in a circle until I get to the middle and then pull it up. Alright, that is it. That looks so freaking cool. Oh my god. Oh wow, okay. I'm not gonna get too excited just yet. So I will come back in 24 hours and then I am going to finish the bottom off. So I'll see you then. Alright, onto the coasters now. So I've just let that settle for five minutes. So I am bringing it down a little bit. No, wrong way, that way. So now I am just going to fill these coasters as best I can. Hopefully my measurements have worked out. early the next morning. All right, that's been an hour. That is it for today. Hopefully they're not gonna be many bubbles. I can't see my many bubbles. Uh, so tomorrow I will come back and unmold these and tell you what I'm gonna do on the shell. And hopefully these work out really well because you can't tell what they actually look like until you get underneath them and take them out. So anyway, we'll see. I like how it's feathered there. You see how it's feathered? Then it's done it a bit on the green. And then I've done it a little bit on the yellow and a little bit on the blue. But yeah, that pink there, they look like feathers. They are gorgeous. Let's just have a closer look at this one. So on the yellow and green, that's really fe feathered there. Wow, that looks gorgeous. And then as we go down, feathered on the blue and the pinky red. The following day. All right, now these are dry. So this one I'm going to leave because I want a darker colour over the top. Uh, not quite sure what colour I'm going to go for, but we'll see. So these three are now dried. I'm going to open this one first. So this is the bottom of the shell. Oh my god. So apart from one little bit there, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. All right then, let's get you a bit closer and let's uh, have a look what these look like. Ooh. As I said though, if the other side doesn't look, look right, I quite like this side anyway. Are we ready? Uh, that's with me touching the bottom. I touched the bottom But I went a bit too far down. I really like that side because it's more vibrant So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dome this side Mind you look at this detail guys Can you see the texture it looks like it's got That's crazy
That's nuts, that is. How does it go like that? So I'm presuming this one's coming out the same. Again, though, you know, everything's a le learning curve. Are we ready? Yeah, this is exactly the same. Oh, well, it's a whirlwind. I've got two whirlwind coasters. There we go. We'll call them whirlwinds. Oh my God, again, this is awesome, guys. So yeah, I'm going to dome this one as well because I really do like these sides and if I want to look at the, the texture, I've just got to turn them over. Okay, so look, you can see through there and you can see the same things happened. So I'm just, I'm going to unmold this and I'm not going to waste any more acrylic. Acrylic, what? Wow, that just popped out. I'm not going to waste any more resin because I, this is for a present and I wouldn't want to send this as a present so this one's been unmolded and it, I'll use it for something I'm trying to make this fit it won't because there's, I didn't put any more up there and it comes up a bit so that's where the the ledge will be it'll come out more but anyway it is what it is I'm still going to keep this I'm really happy with that I've just got to try this one again but I'll just do some more research and I'll see where I've gone wrong. It could be, well, I don't know. If I knew, I'd do it again right now, but I don't know. So I am going to leave the, these to cure up fully. And then um, I will be, in my next video, I'm, I will come back and try again with the uh, inks to try and get the design I'm after for the lid on there. But yeah, apart from that, I do hope you enjoyed this and uh, other experimental video. As I go along, I'm going to I'm going to be making mistakes. You live and learn. You live and learn. All right, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's resins link will be in the description box for everything, including their resin and their inks. But other than getting it wrong, I thoroughly like thoroughly enjoyed doing this project. I really, really did. But before I start on this, I'm going to be practicing on these. <laughs> It takes less resin. <laughs> Alright guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.